Hello guys and girls and welcome back to some more Thorncraft tutorial uh, with me Bashful Brit. I know it's been a hell of a while since I've done one of these videos and I do apologize I can't even remember where we got to in the tutorial series unfortunately. We still got golems going for us fishing and all of that stuff and I don't I can't even remember what we were doing out here. Um, I set up a load of stuff inside. I can't remember if I covered it with you guys or not. I had a look around and I don't have any video files for it. Um, but it's all about the um, runic shielding stuff. And all the different things you could get from it. I can't remember if I did a video or just laid it out for you guys. Um, so we're going to go through this anyway. And let's quickly grab up the book. I'm getting quite a bit of uh, frame issues in this world. Have a look. I think it's under artifice. Yes. Yeah, so, um, leading off from Enchanted Fabric, we have uh, Runic Shielding. And you've got all these different varieties of Runic Shielding. This is something completely different. Um, but if we click on Runic Shielding here, it's going to take a while to load. It always does the very first time I seem to boot this thing up. Um, so yeah, let's have a look through this. Um, it says your research and protective magics led, led you to discover runic shielding. Not armor in a traditional set, but collection of charms, rings, and similar protective baubles worn with everyday clothes. Uh, these basically create a barrier, uh, protect. It will subtract damage from the pool of hit points. Uh, depends on what you've got. Each uh, shielding has a set amount of hit points which it will subtract from first before damaging you. Um, once the pool is depleted, the start taking damage is normal. Uh, pool replenishes over time and requires Terra and Vis to replenish its charge, which it draws from carried ones. So it will recharge your shielding um, if you had your bubbles on in your inventory, like equipped. Uh, it will start recharging it from your wand. Uh, so it might be worth having a spare one of them lying around. Um, Armor offers no protection from damage suffered due to drowning, starvation, or similar environmental hazards. So if you're a dick and you jump into lava, this ain't gonna. This isn't gonna. This isn't like some idiot-proof shielding thing. It's like you've still got to be careful. Um, it's just basically if you're getting swamped by mobs, it's gonna take off a little bit of damage. Uh, it's gonna take off some stuff like that. I'm not sure actually. Lava might be fine. But drowning, drowning is definitely not. Like if you drown or starve, then you're just pretty much done. Um, due to its nature, the armor cannot be enchanted by normal means. But there is a way to do it, which I'll show you guys. Maybe this episode, maybe another episode. So there's three different types that you can have. You can have um, the girdle, which is like a belt. Um, you can have an amulet, which would be like a necklace. And then you can have rings. And you can equip two lots of rings. Um, if we look in the survival inventory list, quickly just go to game mode zero. <clears throat> there you go, and we open up bubbles. We can have amulet, two rings, and a girdle, all on uh, consecutively. So, first things first is you guys want to be making uh, the basics, and then we move over to the enchanted side of things, <clears throat> right here, like that. Um, so the first one we want is going to be. Um, I don't know what these are called anymore. Ring of Runic Shielding. To put you back in proper. Uh, so to make the rune of red, there, rune, ring of runic shielding. Uh, you want to put a mundane ring. This is all done on the infusion altar, by the way. I've laid it all out in here, so it's easy for you guys to see. You need a mundane ring in the middle, and to make that, it's basically just gold nuggets like this. Make you a mundane ring. You put that in the middle there, and then you put Primal Charm up top, Scribing Tools, Amber, Fabric, and Nitor, like so. And that there will give you the, um, it will give you the ring. I uh, forgot to put, I think I started putting them in. Yeah, I started doing it on this side. Uh, let's have a quick look here. We open the Runic Shielding again. Uh, so you're going to need 25 Potentia for this one, 25 Magicka, and 10 Tutaman. 
just for the ring and then for the amulet you're going to need 35 potentia 35 precantatio and 20 tutamen and then going up to the girdle it's 50 50 and 30. so it gets slightly more expensive with the essentia as we go up in this one um, so the next one you're going to be looking at is the amulet. Amulet's pretty simple to make. It's a gold bar with three pieces of string like so. That'll make you a mundane amulet. And same sort of concept. You're using the exact same things except you're adding a piece of nitor. As you can see here, this has only had one piece. And scribing tools, amber, primal charm, and enchant fabric. Has all the same stuff plus one more nitor. And obviously the uh, upgraded costs of the essentia and this one is pretty much exactly the same except it uses another piece of nitro and it's slightly more expensive and to make the mundane belt it's just a gold bar with leather instead of string so it's just similar to the amulet so these are pretty easy to make once you got an infusion altar set up um but leading on from that um so these are going to be your basics i mean it's going to have all your basic runic shielding. It's going to have plus 5 on that one, plus 8 on them, and then plus 10 on that. So overall, you can have plus 28 on runic shielding, which I believe would be 28 hearts. I don't think it would be 28 hearts. I think it would be 28 hit points, which is the equivalent of 14 hearts, if I'm correct. Um, so it is quite useful, just them in general on their own. But these can be upgraded. Um, you can have a charge runic shielding. So you take your runic shielding thing. It will reduce it. As you can see here, runic shield will be plus 4 instead of plus 5. Uh, but it's a specialized version. It has slightly uh, it has slightly less charge than the ring it's based on. But increases the recharge time of the shielding itself by 25%. Uh, you can wear more than one of these rings effectively having the normal recharge time. So if you wore two of them, that would be 50% less of the recharge time. And you only lose one uh, point of damage for on each ring. So it's not too bad at all. And these are done uh, just with balance shard. <clears throat> like so. And these are quite easy to make. I can't remember. There is a way of making them. I cannot remember for the life of me. Um, it's in the book somewhere. <clears throat> but yeah, so you got balance there. Two fires here on the side. And then you just put a potion of swiftness at the bottom. And that's going to give you this one here, which is the charge ring of um, shielding. Such long names, it's difficult to remember them. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, so then we go on to this one. And this one is going to be the revitalized ring of shielding. Uh, it will look... Or of course, drop one again, so it'll be plus four. Um, when your runic shielding is breached, it will release a pulse of regenerative energy that will last for a few seconds. This effect can not trigger more than once every 20 seconds. Uh, so basically, once your runic shielding breaks, obviously it's going to eventually, if you're constantly being attacked, um, this thing will basically release a charge and it will release like... Um, a regen thing so it lasts a couple of seconds it's not going to last like two minutes like the potion is um but it will last a little bit longer to give you some health regen so once you do drop below runic shielding and start taking damage to your player directly thankfully there'll be like a regen thing which will help you out that little bit more so if you combine these two rings as i said you can wear two so 25 percent less on the recharge rate plus that would be quite good um, so using all these together um, will make you quite powerful and it'd be very very beneficial to have and the next one we're going to be looking at is emergency shielding once again you're going to be losing a charge um, but with the benefits you get uh, when your shielding is breached this upgrade will instantly add 8 charge to your shielding amount this can not trigger once the more uh, more than once a minute so even though you do lose a point once you're breached it will give you another eight points on top of that so effectively you're upgrading it a hell of a lot on that one so you are effectively getting 15 points of um damage instead of the uh yeah 15 points of shielding rather than just the eight you get seven when it breaks then you get an additional eight but only when it breaks um so and as long as that's not done like more than once a 
And it's, as long as it's not done less than once a minute, you should be fine, absolutely fine with that one. So, moving on, we're going to go on to Kinetic Girdle of Shielding. And this one is a specialized version. Uh, you lose a point again. Uh, when your shielding is breached, a detonation of kinetic energy will be released, damaging and shoving anything back nearby. This will trigger one, no more than once every 20 seconds. So this one is really, really cool. Basically, if your runic shielding is breached, which eventually it will be if you're getting swamped, this will basically explode, damaging anything near it. It shouldn't damage you, I don't think, uh, but it will basically damage everything around you, say you're being swamped by mobs, and it will push them all back as well, which will give you that little bit of um, little bit of an advantage uh, just to get away and possibly save yourself. Uh, these are all pretty simple to make. Uh, it's basically a shard. You got balance shard on the top, um, respective elemental pieces on the, uh, shards on the side, with a potion determining. Um, what everything does. So this is going to speed up the recharge rate, so you're going to put the potion of swiftness there. Um, this one is going to give you regeneration when you broke when the shielding's broken, so you're going to put a regen potion in there. Uh, this one gives you more points, so you put strengthening, so I guess it just strengthen, strengthens the shield. And then this one will be potion harming, obviously because it explodes and harms everything else around it. And just remember, all of these are done on the infusion altar. And here, down the bottom here, is how much essentially you need for each one. So this one would be 64 Potentia, 16 Precantotia, and 16 Tutaman. And then going into this one, it's 32 Aqua, 16 Precantotia, 32 Sano, and 16 Tutaman. And then 35, 32, 20, 32. Like I said before, all of these can be found in the book. I just thought I'd lay them down like that just to help you guys out a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I really wanted to cover in today was all of uh, the different sort of runic shielding options you have. This is a huge step up from the last Thorncraft. Um, let's have a look. Also, yes, this is one thing I wanted to mention. You can put runic shielding on your um, Thorncraft robes like we've got here. So you can actually um, enchant these with runic shielding as well, like you used to be able to do in the past, I believe. Um, I think they've changed the update slightly. As you can see, though, this gets very, very expensive. If you want a plus five runic shielding, uh, it's one, salis one salisman. This gives you plus one runic shielding, as you can see it going up as they add bits it'll take a diamond as well plus your robes but just beware of this here at the maximum level it's 512 potentia you need and 256 precantatio and tutamin so it can be very expensive um and i think this is going to be the same for all different parts of the um armor um Okay. Okay, right. So you literally have to go through them all as well. So you to get a plus two runic shielding, you need a plus one runic shielding robe in the middle with two Salis Mundus. To get plus three, you need a uh, one that has plus two on it already with three Salis Mundus plus all of this stuff. So it's going to be very, very expensive in both Essentia and Salis Mundus to upgrade all your pieces of armor. But if you have five in all of these, that's 20 across the board there. Plus the, um, what was it, 25 there. Once you lose a couple pieces, you're going to be down to about 21. But then you get a plus eight on this when you breach. So you effectively get an extra seven off of that one. So if we drop down to 21, that's going to put it up to 28. So you combine that together, you're going to have about 48 worth uh, 48 points worth of runic shielding which equivalent of 24 hearts I believe so you can be quite become quite overpowered with this and that's only if it breaches I mean you're going to be quite hard pushed to breach that I think um, 
So yeah, there's a hell of a lot you can do with it. Runic shielding is really, really fantastic. I've had it before. It's saved my life so many times. Um, I have been working on something over here. I'm trying to incorporate everything that we've learned so far into this. Uh, it's something going on behind that wall there. It's a work in progress. Um, I think that's what I was working on last time. So I'm going to have to take some time, go back to looking at that. These things are still going. God knows why. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so... That's all I wanted to cover today was runic shielding. Uh, we've done that. We're going to slowly start going back into this now. I know it's been far too long that I've been away, but we're going to start going into all of the artifice stuff because this is the fun stuff that everyone wants to look at. I definitely want to be looking at all of this stuff here because I've never tried it. And I want to see what it looks like. Um... But yeah, we're, we're going to get past all of this here and we're going to go into all of this stuff. We're going to get the boots of the traveler done. We're going to get the thermostatic harness and the girdle. All of this stuff is really, really fun to be playing around with. Uh, the mirrors and stuff are good. The boar I've been playing around with a little bit. Let's see if I can go find that. I did play around with it a little bit. It's absolutely fantastic. But yeah, yeah, I've got something set up over there with the boar, which is going to be part of that whole master everything together i just wanted to show the core power of thorncraft alone and how much you can actually do with just this mod uh, because people use other mods and incorporate things together it's not going to be as good as using say like a quarry but the uh, mining board is absolutely fantastic and if you use it all together i'm just showing you how much automation you can actually get out of this mod because it's absolutely spectacular and I think it's definitely, definitely underrated and definitely deserves a lot more attention. I just want to show the core power of that in just one swift movement and just have everything connected together and just show you what the possibilities are with this mod because it is absolutely fantastic and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do when you get into it. Um, but that has been it for this episode. We've covered over the runic shielding. So hopefully you guys can get a little bit more better defense in Thorncraft 4.2. Way, I don't know what's going on. I haven't been keeping up to date with Thorncraft either. So I'm not sure if there's any uh, changes. Let's dump this. Any changes or any updates recently. I haven't updated. I'm still using the... Oh. I'm still using the exact same pack that I was using and I haven't updated it at all because I wanted to carry on and I don't want to corrupt anything. But thank all of you guys very much for watching. I'm going to get back onto the Thorncraft tutorials and we're going to try and cover as much as we can again. And I do apologize once again for the delay in the videos. So thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and I hope you learned something today. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up down below and subscribe for some more tutorials coming in the future thank you very much for watching goodbye